Good morning. Welcome to another uh, video tutorial for Kissoft. Today we're going to talk about shaft construction, a simple shaft, and some of the features we can add. Shouldn't be too long of a tutorial, and uh, you should be able to get some ideas about what you can do with your shafts and how fast you can build them. So we want to start out with what we want to end up with, right? We want to build this, the gray part, this shaft, and then we're going to add some bearings and uh, some gears and maybe a pulley or a chain um, later on in a following tutorial. But this is the, the basic shape and uh, form of the shaft that we're going to analyze. So of course we open Kissoft and we go to our shaft element. Module would be shaft calculation. Uh, you have examples down here of course if you want to uh, follow along those examples. Um, we're in the shaft calculation module elements tree. So first and foremost it's pretty easy to, to build a shaft. Uh, Kissoff does it in sections uh, from left to right across the, the screen. So what we would do is say we have, okay we've added a shaft, shaft 1, and we're going to start building it. And you can see there's a different elements you can add to it. Um, if you hover over, let's say a cylinder, right? So 0 0.78, 0 0.985 would be uh, where I'm going to start with. And then I'm just going to go ahead and build from there. So I'm going to add another one. This one's going to be 1.11 long. And I'm just adding to this elements editor on the bottom here. The diameter is going to be 1.26. I'm going to add another one. This one's going to be 0.775 long. And we'll make it a 2 inch diameter. We add another one. This will be 0.9487. Oops. 0.9487 and 1.20. 1.260 <clears throat> and we're going to go ahead and add another one and this is where I'm just building that shaft that we saw 0.472 and that diameter is uh, 1.4367 and we're going to continue looks like uh, 0.575 right here and you can name these anything you want maybe spline maybe it's 0.575 long at 1.375 diameter and then we're going to add <coughs> um, another feature here that's 0.725 and that diameter is going to be 1.268 and then we're going to add our final which is going to be our other bearing. So we have our base shaft right now and you can play with this font stuff too you can increase this but this is our basic model right we're just building elements as we work out this model here so now what we want to do is add in our other features that make this shaft strong. We have relief grooves, radiuses, and I can go ahead and I can either click right on this, left click right on that feature, and if you look on the left part of the screen there, it'll actually, um, I can do the same thing here. I can click on each one and work through it. So I want to add relief grooves here. I just go ahead and right click and add. Now I can add a relief groove to the right of this or the left, or I can add different um, features here. So I'm going to go ahead and put a relief groove on here. Um, I can make it a D. If you're wondering what that looks like, you can go to this additional information. Uh, shape B and shape D, right? Um, you can you can then decide which ones you like best. I guess you can just you know do whatever you want. Um, I'm going to go with the shape D. And I'm going to make it 0.1, and I'm going to make it a 
and my well, I'm gonna make this point on two, and I'm gonna make my radius a point oh four. There, you can see it's populated. And since I have that information in here, I'm gonna go click on this and do one. I'm gonna add one to the to the left, and I want a D point one. 0.03 and 0.03. Maybe I think this was a 0.02. I want them the same either way because when I 0.02 and 0.04, just for making it easy on the machining guys. Now I can add radiuses right or left. I'll make that an eighth of an inch. I'm going to do this on the other side too. Radius left. 0.25, and I'm going to do that here. I'm going to add another one to the right, 0.08. There, and I've got all my radiuses. Starting to look familiar, right? Relief groove, radius, radius, radius. I'm going to add a spline and a relief groove here, but then um, I got this one. So I'm almost done with my shaft. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and put a relief groove in here, and I'm going to right-click, add. Relief groove left. I'm going to make it 0.1. I'm going to make this a pretty good 0.04. And I'm going to make this a 0.04 as well. It's a little bit bigger relief groove than what the other one was. But there's a reason. okay? And the reason is now I'm going to add a spline on here. So I can right click, add, and spline. And I'm going to position that at 0. You can see my spline now comes all the way back here. I'm going to make it 0 0.5575, right? So that's my spline, but now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to actually put a spline in here based on an ANSI standard. I'm going to use a 30 degree flat root. The reason I'm using that is because I'm, I'm already in a, an English <coughs> module and um, English um, diametral pitch types dimensioning and unit scheme. So I click on here and I filter down to 1.375 because that's my tip diameter of my shaft at that point. And I wanted a 24 pitch and it gives me a 32 tooth so that's the one I grab. And it's there. So now I have a spline there, right? On this part right here, this section, I need to add a, re a relief, not a relief, but a, um, a square groove because I need to add a ring. Okay, I need to add a retaining ring because I'm going to slide a gear over here onto this spline, and that's what I'm going to do. So on the bottom, I'm going to put an O2 radius in it, and I'm going to make this at 80 thou off of there. A couple other things I can do to clean it up. I can add a radius to the left. And on this one, maybe I want to put in a chamfer to the right um, to help facilitate getting that gear on. I'll make it a 30 degree. <clears throat> At this point, we've uh, constructed our shaft. It looks eerily familiar, right? To this shaft. And now what we would need to do is we'd have to come back through and do some do some work on what we think the bearings need to be, what we think the gears and the types of other forces on here are to make the analysis. But this is a this is a quick way of showing you how you can add things. One other thing is I want to have a through hole. Maybe I gun bore this. Maybe maybe weight is a big deal to me. So I go ahead to this inner contour, which is now is my inside ge geometries. And I'm going to right click. I'm going to add a cylindrical bore. And you can see it starts. I need to make it 6.1667 long <clears throat> in order to um, drill it through the entire shaft. So I go down here and I say one point or 6.1667 long, and uh, maybe I make that 0.4. And now I have a, an inside diameter bore through my shaft. 
One of the things you can do is you can turn this display shadowed off or on. If I turn it off, now it looks like I got a cross section. So on my cross section, you can see I've got a spline. I've got there's a relief groove there. You can't see it, but it's there. Um, I've got a chamfer, relief grooves, uh, and radiuses across there. Plus I have a, a bore through the entire shaft. Pretty simple, huh? Very quick, very easy to do within Kissoft. I can also specify the material at this point over on our basic data. Um, I don't have gears and bearings on there, but uh, you can come in here and you can search through our database. You can do a plus here. You can go across here, look for your, your tensile strength or your yield point. Maybe that's a big deal. What's this one? 1060, uh, 1045. 1045 is a pretty standard material, 70 thou um, yield. There's lots of other ones in here. 3135. This 18 nichromo, usually a case hardened. Yeah, that's a good one. I'm going to grab that one. Chromium nickel, Molly 7, case carbide steel, <clears throat> case hardened. Might do that for a shaft and a transmission, right? Um, and we can also enter our speed, which 1500 is a default. We're, I'm just going to leave it there for now. So now we've specified the, the uh, shaft material and the shaft geometry initially. What we'll end up doing later is in another... Uh, Quick tutorials, we'll talk about adding gears and bearings and so forth on here. I'm doing some analysis. So this is uh, shafts in Kissoft. It's very, they're very easy to build. Um, you can add lots of nice little features in here that you can take into account when you do the analysis later. Again, this is Ty Warner with Kissoft USA. If you have questions, go ahead and email me, email me at tywarner at kissoft USA. That's K-I-S-S-S-O-F-T dot com. Um, you can check out our website. Uh, you can, we also have uh, other web demos coming up that you can look at. Maybe not specifically shaft related, but uh, just with the with the software in general. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got something out of it. If you have questions, uh, you know how to get a hold of me. Thanks for watching.